Here we have a KLNE Sun Teams uh, photovoltaic or solar inverter. And you can see on the screen of this one, we've got the fault light, the red fault light's lit, and it's coming up on the screen with high temperature. Now, uh, your the Sun Teams inverter could come up with this fault if the inverter is installed outside in full sun on a very, very hot day and it's working really hard, it, it might come up with a fault for a high temperature. But in this case, uh, it's not a hot day, the system's not, uh, not producing much power and it's installed in the shade. And we're still coming up with the high temperature fault on the screen. So in this case, it actually looks like it's most likely a internal issue with the temperature sensor uh, inside the inverter that the temperature sensor has failed and uh, coming up with this incorrect reading. Now I always recommend to people if you do have an issue with your inverter is just to try rebooting it. It's a bit, it can be a bit like your computer, you know, sometimes you have a problem with your computer and uh, a simple reboot will uh, sort out the issues. So let's give that a go. Now if you're turning off a solar power system it's always important that you follow the shutdown procedure. And we've got a shutdown procedure over here, which is the turn off the solar supply main switch or the inverter AC isolator. In this case, we've got an inverter AC isolator here. A solar supply main switch is always located in your switch board. So we're going to turn that one off there. And then turn off the PV array DC isolator located at the inverter. So that's the one over here. We'll just throw that one off. And we'll let that uh, this system disconnect altogether and see what comes up. Now, if after a reboot you're still having the problem with this, what's probably going to need to happen, well, what is going to need to happen to get your system operational again is you're going to need the inverter either repaired or replaced. So you may be able to cover it under warranty. I haven't found KLE &E too good to deal with in regards to warranty issues, but a couple of things you'll need on the side of the inverter. Uh, to make a warranty claim, which we'll go through in just a moment. We might just uh, try rebooting the system now. So it doesn't matter the uh, reboot process. It can be either the AC first or the DC. We'll just turn the AC there and then on the DC. And we'll see how that goes. So yeah, like I was saying, a couple of things you, uh, you will need if you are trying to make a warranty claim is the date of installation of the solar inverter and you will need a bit of information about the model number and serial number of the inverter, which we can find over here on the left-hand side of the inverter. We have a look over there. So we see we've got the uh, model number. This is just actually a rebadge one. It's a Solar Lord, but it is a KLE &E, Sun Teams inverter. So the model number is SL1500. So it's a 1.5 kilowatt inverter. As you can see there, the AC nominal output is 1500 watts, 1 1.5 kilowatt. And one thing that you'll need is a serial number of the inverter, which is this number right here. So look, um, yeah, it's important to have that information. Let's uh, come up the front and see if we've got any difference. So you can see here, it's coming up exactly the same. High temperature, the red light, fault light's on. So it's seeing, it's seeing the issue still. So this one is definitely going to have to be either replaced under warranty or uh, replaced all together with a brand new inverter. So look, if you're having a problem like this with your KLE &E Sun Teams inverter or Solar Lord inverter, this one actually is. Uh, look, Gold Coast Solar can certainly help. Feel free to uh, uh, get in contact with us and we'll get your system back in action ASAP. Thanks very much for watching this video.